Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about cap finance on Arbitrum. What is cap finance? Let's take a look. Here we go. So before we start, this is not financial advice. You need to do your own research. I am not being paid to say this and I am not holding the cap token nor am I currently participating in their ETH or USD pools, USDC pools. Cool, anyway, so CAP allows uh, its users to trade up to 50x between, uh, so it allows leverage trading up to 50x between uh, ETH USD and Bitcoin USD pairs. So I don't mess with leverage. Um, and it's basically you're just borrowing money to either buy or, or short the asset, or long or short the asset, um, which amplifies gains and losses. And for me, that's too risky, so it's not part of my uh, strategy for for incoming. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not taking part in that side. However, that obviously there's lots of losses, so that's kind of what interests me at the um, on the the protocol uh, level so there's no fees for traders that's what attracts them to to come to the protocol in the first place and the protocol revenue that is uh, is distributed to uh, ethereum usdc and cap stake stakers from um, the trader liquidations we will get to that in a moment uh, liquidity providers and cap stakers receive protocol revenue yeah so that's that's like the same thing before. So, when people lose money from from longing and shorting, um, that gets distributed to the people that uh, take part in the protocol. Let's go have a look at that. So, best way to get to cap is I go to DeFi Llama. I'm gonna go to Chains. I'm going to our beach room, and on this list. We're about 17, and I checked it not long ago, it was at 20, so, okay, I was wrong. So, yeah, it's at 17 of, uh, th uh, what, 8 million, 8.8 .8 million um, in TVL. And you can see TVL has been steadily growing, if you look at that June 13th bottom, Around then, TVL has um, yeah grown nicely since then. Um, I'm including the staking, but even without, you can see uh, yeah it's, it's it's on the up. Uh, let's go to the website. Access best here. Cool. So this is the the front of the website. It looks clean. Looks nice. You can see the protocol volume uh, in total. That's two point seven billion dollars i believe these are the products you can short ethereum and bitcoin these are the collateral you can provide ethereum and usdc and it works on our beach room zero percent fees and 50 uh, 50x leverage when you trade so um you can always check anything i say by reading the docs here you can check like a lot of stats, token terminal. It's uh, really, really interesting. And you can compare it against other protocols. And then you can read their white paper um, here as well. But we're gonna get into trade. And let's say you wanted to trade, this is where you'd select your asset, ETH or Bitcoin here. Um, and it shows you the, the time scale. If you're interested in that, you can place your order this is your collateral, so it can either be Ethereum or USDC. This is where you select your leverage, and there's a little slider. And then the size, select, and you can short or long, simple as that. Um, if you know how to do leverage, that makes sense to you. Um, if you don't, this ain't the video to explain leverage, because I have never used it myself. However, what I do want to use, the interesting part is here, and um, this is where we can stake or provide liquidity for uh, the tokens 
that are being leveraged against. So let's say Ethereum, I could provide some Ethereum to this pool. And whenever traders make a profit, that's paid out of the pool of Ethereum. When traders incur losses, their losses go back to the pool of Ethereum that I am a part of. And at the moment, the historical API, as you can see, APY is 80%, which is pretty nice, actually, isn't it? That is, um, <laughs> that's crazy high at the moment. So if losses and um, profit and losses are, are based on traders, profit and losses, it just so happens that traders on average over time lose money. So the longer you're in this, the more likely you are to make money. And then I guess depending on the, um, the size of the pool and the amount of volume is going to dictate like how much um, fees you're going to get back. And earn. So the same kind of sense for um, uh, USDC as well, at 45%, which is um, a really nice amount as well. I guess it's just a case of do you trust the protocol? Um, do you think it's going to get hacked? It is relatively new. And um, yeah, that's why Like I haven't jumped in yet. Um, it's just a case of you know understanding and assessing the risk and maybe uh, sizing your position accordingly if that is something you wanted to do. Um, and then the last one is the state cap tokens, which you can get a twelve point nine APY on that, which is um, okay. I mean, like GMX is seeing a higher return you do get paid in ETH and USDC which is good uh, one great thing about the cap token is that there's only ever a hundred thousand of the tokens a hundred thousand so any uh, yield that is being given out is not in the cap token uh, it's going to be they'll be inflating the supply uh, it's going to be in Ethereum or USDC two assets that we definitely should love so this maybe over time, but for me that percentage isn't. Maybe I'm greedy, but maybe there's better opportunities. Um, and why I haven't jumped into this, although this this could also be potential. But then again, getting Ethereum at eighty percent could be uh, nice. However, you know that could fluctuate massively. I think uh, that is that is it. The next thing you could do is go on to Docs just to read everything and understand um what's what's going on here um but i think i've covered most things as, a, as an overview um i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one take it easy